Chapter 981, The Four Regions Tournament, 4. Okay then, I will let Uncle Ju and Big Brother do deal with the team battle. Shen Yang Xiao nodded her head. Still, her heart was extremely depressed. Sure enough, she really needed to speed up the process of improving the strength of her citizens. This sort of feeling of lacking capable people at hand really made one's heart sullen. The group battle will be handed over to the five of us. Cheeksia lazily opened his mouth, not waiting for Shen Yangxiao to propose, he already took the task himself. Shen Yangxiao slightly raised an eyebrow and looked at the five animals before she said, Do you think that I will let you get lazy? If you can't take the victory, I'll decisively make you all face the wall and ponder your misdeeds. Oh oh, little Xiao is so fierce. Tang Nazi pretended to be frightened as he clutched his chest. Ah, we're really unlucky. For others there's no such condition, but when it comes to us, we can only win and not lose. We're so miserable. Chi Zai shook his head with a sad face. Shen Yang Xiao laughed despite herself as she looked at these guys who didn't act according to standards all day. The group battle is limited to 5 to 10 people. The number of cheeks here and the others is just sufficient, won't they really suffer? Du Lang was a little worried. Have you forgotten that the few of them have mythological beasts? Shen Yang Xiao hooked up the corner of her lips. If her match only needed her to grasp it to assure victory, then for Cheeksia and the others, it would just be as simple as taking out something from their own pockets. Du Lang gawked slightly. Only then did he remember the mythological beasts of the five young masters. Furthermore, each of their strengths was comparable to the overlord of any forces. He feared that even the elites of the other three forces were no match for them. Where else could one find such an aberrant group of five people with strength that might be at the level of second stage professions? that still had five mythological beasts. Du Lang could almost imagine the spectacular debut of the five young masters in the group battle, that domineering scene of their several mythological beasts standing behind each person. He did not know if the elites of the Blizzard City, Twilight City and Magical Fantasy City had prepared their tiny hearts enough to withstand such a shock and to not directly swoon. Master, Master, Nangong Meng Meng who was like a vase decoration sitting to the side the whole time, couldn't stand the excitement of her heart any longer and finally waved her small hands in front of Shen Yang Xiao. What's wrong? Shen Yang Xiao looked at the blushing Nangong Meng Meng. Nangong Meng Meng's sparkling eyes stared fixedly at Shen Yang Xiao. She asked cautiously, that can I join in the group battle? You want to participate? Shen Yang Xiao asked. Nangong Meng Meng madly nodded her head. The phrase want to join was practically written on her whole face. Under the guidance of Shen Yang Xiao, her warlock's strength had advanced by leaps and bounds, and now she had reached the peak of the intermediate level, only one step away from senior professional. One must know that Shen Yang Xiao had let her study at her leisure for this period of time, and there just wasn't any opportunity to try her warlock skills at all. She already could not wait to try out the results of her cultivation. Shen Yang Xiao thought for a moment, looking at Qi Xia and the others. What do you think? After all, Nangong Meng Meng had little contact with Qi Xia and the others. Although the group battle did not require much teamwork unlike the team battle, sometimes, pig-like teammates could pull the whole team into the abyss. When Nangong Meng Meng saw Shen Yang Xiao asking Qi Xia and the others, she immediately turned her head and put on a pair of puppy eyes to appear pitiful as she looked at the five animals. Other masters won, please take me there, I promise I will not make a mess, I will obediently listen to you. The five animals originally wanted to protest. After all, other than Shen Yang Xiao, they were not very amenable to cooperating with a girl, but Nangong Meng Meng's masters immediately bought the five animals approval. Master. This really felt good to hear. One. The original word here is shishu, comma which disciples use to call others masters, disciples call their own masters shifu. Chapter 982, The Four Regions Tournament, 5. The five animals suddenly felt cured in an instant. Since they were the masters, shouldn't they at least bring along their junior? Anyway, Nangong Meng Meng was Shen Yang Xiao's disciple. She could also be considered their junior, and since that was the case, 
they should naturally take care of their junior. The five young and energetic masters quickly accepted the polite honorific of Nangong Meng Meng. What could they do? It just felt really cool. Cough. I don't have any objections. Anyway, the few of us are here. No need to worry about the moths on the opposite side. Since disciple wants to play, then play. Tang Nazi immediately displayed the mindset of a considerate member of the older generation and smoothly blurted out the word disciple. This sister suddenly popped out and posed as the little one, truly making them feel that their own seniority had suddenly increased. It was really complicated. The five animals had completely forgotten that the actual age of Nangong Meng Meng and their own was basically the same, and in fact, Chen Yang Xiao was the real little one among them. Yi, long live my master one. Nangong Meng Meng cheered gleefully. Long live your master. Tang Nazi's mouth twitched. Weren't they the ones who had promised and Shen Yang Xiao had not even spoken at all? So why was this girl directly singing praises to her master? Say thanks to your other masters here. She was indeed Shen Yang Xiao's good disciple. She even learned her temperament of making people cough up blood. Tang Nazi silently swallowed the blood that was stuck in his throat. Shen Yang Xiao was overly protective, and compared to men, she was even more protective of women. He really did not dare to teach her own good disciple in front of her. With regards to Nangong Meng Meng's eyes that really only had her as a master, Shen Yang Xiao was unexpectedly quite amused. Nangong Meng Meng's thoughts were practically written on her face, and her respect and worship towards her master were beyond doubt. During this time, Shen Yang Xiao was liking this disciple more and more. The participants for the three games had been finalized. Shen Yang Xiao let people arrange their luggage, and in two days they would depart. After everyone left, Lan Feng Lai stood at Shen Yang Xiao's side. His small head was lowered as he sullenly pulled the hem of Shen Yang Xiao's clothes. What's wrong? Shen Yang Xiao looked at Lan Feng Lai. This child made people love him dearly more and more. Sister are you going to leave again? Lan Feng Lai asked in a very light voice but with a hint of trembling. Shen Yang Xiao was getting busier day after day. He could hardly stay by her side nowadays. He was also not willing to increase her burden so he could only be content watching Shen Yang Xiao's busy figure, and could not bear to disturb Shen Yang Xiao. However, Shen Yang Xiao had to leave again, and he couldn't even see her for this coming period of time. Lan Feng Lai's heart felt as though it were being gripped by a person's hand, it was extremely painful. Shen Yang Xiao's heart produced a trace of pain. Lan Feng Lai was really well behaved. He never made any trouble for her. When she needed him, he was there. When she did not need him, he just stood quietly on one corner. Even when Nan Gong Meng Meng proposed to participate in the group battle, he did not stand up and say that he also would like to go. Shen Yang Xiao knew that Lan Feng Lai had an inexplicable dependence on her, because she did not mention it, he would also not say it. This kind of forbearance made Shen Yang Xiao feel a little distressed. Little Feng doesn't want to come with me. Shen Yang Xiao clenched her teeth. In the end, she decided to let Lan Feng Lai go with her to Twilight City. As long as she did not allow him to take action, he would not be so easily discovered with a face-changing mask on his face. Lan Feng Lai raised his head and an obvious surprise flashed over his eyes. I can I go too? Of course. One, NMM is talking about six here which is her Shifu slash own master. Chapter 983, Twilight City, 1. The Twilight City of the Seven Kingdoms was located in the western region of the barren land and stood opposite to the place where the Rising Sun City was. The distance between these two cities was also the greatest. Shen Yang Xiao brought a total of more than 100 people this time. Aside from the participants in the tournament, she also brought some logistic staff. The majority of the main staff in the city were taken away by her, leaving only Uncle Zhu, Su He, Yin Jiuchen and the two phoenixes for housekeeping. As for Xu, it would naturally be impossible for him to continue to stay if Shen Yang Xia were to leave the Rising Sun City. Hence, before leaving, Xu handed the higher demons a training program and let them train on their own while he was away. The grandiose troop left the rising sun city and marched towards the twilight city. The western region of the barren land was also rich in various kinds of ore. The seven kingdoms were famous for forging weapons in these past years. A large part of the weapons of the entire Radiance continent came from the seven kingdoms. Although there was no such thing as a divine weapon of the Azure Dragon clan there, 
Compared to the weapons in the shops of other countries, the weapons of the Seven Kingdoms were naturally on a higher level. From the rising Sun City to the Twilight City, Shen Yang Xiao's team traveled for nearly ten days. The long procession of carriages were linked up, creating the image of a long dragon walking through the barren land. If one flew with a mythological beast, it would only take a day to complete the journey, but they were carrying loads of fragile things. Moreover, flying on a mythological beast was just too flashy. In the end, Shen Yang Xiao chose to travel in carriages. Within the team, the faces of Lan Feng Lai and the villagers from the Sun Graveyard had been covered with masks. Shen Yang Xiao was very careful about doing things. In the whole journey, Nan Gong Meng Meng successfully squeezed herself into Shen Yang Xiao's carriage after acting cute for a while. Apart from Shen Yang Xiao and the little fellows such as Vermilion Bird and the two stuffed toys, there was only Lan Feng Lai present inside the carriage. And now that there was a Nan Gong Meng Meng, the originally quiet carriage produced a trace of vitality in an instant. Master, have you been to Twilight City? Nan Gong Meng Meng tried to restrain the excitement in her heart, nevertheless, she still couldn't control her small mouth. Shen Yang Xiao shook her head. She rarely left the Rising Sun City. Last time, she only went to the Magical Fantasy City for a couple of minutes to demonstrate, and it was just an accident that she went to Blizzard City. This Twilight City was the farthest from the Rising Sun City, so it was only natural that she had never been there before. Hee hee. I've been there. Nan Gong Meng Meng mischievously smiled. Oh, then why don't you tell me? What is it like? Shen Yang Xiao slightly raised an eyebrow. Nan Gong Meng Meng was from the God's Domain, and it was common for the people of the God's Domain to go to the barren land occasionally. Nan Gong Meng Meng adjusted her sitting position and immediately said, The Twilight City looks golden, and Uncle said that the city walls of the Twilight City are made of metal, which is also very hard but the area is not as big as the rising sun city. The buildings inside are also slightly crowded together. The entire city is divided into seven areas, each of which is home to the seven rulers of the seven kingdoms. Shen Yang Xiao nodded her head. The seven kingdoms was originally made up of seven small countries. The size and population of these seven countries were very small. In order to prevent them from being annexed by other larger countries, they chose to make an alliance. The pattern of the Seven Kingdoms was somewhat similar to that of the Divine Wind Alliance. There were no princes nor emperor in power, and the highest authority was the Elders' Council. All the members of the Elders' Council were the most senior men in each of the seven countries. Although all seven countries, in fact, had their respective kings, they could only claim to be the king of their own small country and were just responsible for the small things. The major matters were handled and decided by the elders' council. Therefore, in reality, the kings of the seven countries were only puppets, and the elders' council was the organization that held real power. Chapter 984, Twilight City, 2. Hey all, there's an event for the 1000th chapter happening and will close next week, so if you haven't already, Check it out. The first city lord of the Twilight City is called Juan Yu Aya. He is not a person from the Seven Kingdoms. He appeared to be an orphan and was adopted by the members of the Elders' Council. No one knows which country he belongs to, but ten years ago, just after the Twilight City was established, Juan Yu Aya died. Now, the one in charge in the Twilight City is Juan Yu Aya's son, named Juan Hen. This year, he seems to be 15 years old, but his talent is very high. Last year, when he was 14, he broke through the level of senior professional. The magical beast he possesses is the Red Flame Beast, which is also a mythological beast. Previously, Gangbi and Duan Hen fought against each other, and Gangbi was defeated by Duan Hen without a hitch. Nan Gong Meng Meng devoted herself very much to telling all the gossip she knew to Shen Yang Xiao. Red Flame Beast, Shen Yang Xiao slightly raised an eyebrow. This was the first time she had heard of this mythological beast. The Seven Kingdoms was comprised of seven small countries with seven mythological beasts that were each owned by the elders of the Elders' Council. She really did not know that the Seven Kingdoms had an eighth mythological beast. The Red Flame Beast is a magical beast of the fire element and is said to be very powerful. I heard that the Red Flame Beast's whole body is covered with red flames and the turbulent poisonous heat it released can kill people in an instant, 
its appearance is said to be very cruel. Nangong Meng Meng blinked her eyes and subconsciously turned her gaze to the million bird who was sitting on one side. The million bird was also a magical beast of the fire element and his ability to manipulate flames was extremely strong. It made one wonder who was stronger and who was weaker. The million bird knitted his brows. The million bird, do you know it? Shen Yang Xiao saw the million bird's unusual look and asked. The million bird answered one of the vicious beasts. It loves to mess with people the most. I did not expect it to sign a contract with a human being. Vicious beasts. Shen Yang Xiao echoed in puzzlement. The million turned his lips on one side and said, once a magical beast reach the mythological level, there will be corresponding classifications. I, as your dragon, white tiger, black tortoise, the phoenixes, and bay eyes are all spiritual beasts. The red flame beast is a vicious beast. Nangong Meng Meng immediately followed, I know this, the spiritual beasts are gentle and very friendly to human beings, mostly protecting humans' security. But the vicious beasts are very disgusted with humans, although they are not as cruel as the devil race. They also raised havoc on the Radiance continent. No vicious beasts will willingly sign a contract with a human being. That's why I was surprised when I learned about the red flame beast. To humans, vicious beasts are basically like the notorious Toti. They also didn't eat less people. Toti. Shen Yang Xiao's gaze became distant. She had heard of this name in her previous life. It was said to be a gluttonous creature and didn't have self-control when it came to food. Vermilion Bird, if you fight against the Red Flame Beast, do you have a chance of winning? Shen Yang Xiao asked. At present, she could see that only Duan Hen could contend with her. Although she could suppress him in strength, the most important thing was the confrontation between the two mythological beasts. Vermilion Bird was silent for a moment and there was a trace of uncertainty on his face. If I were at my peak, I would naturally not be afraid of it, but, the million bird looked down at his young body, and his eyes flashed with a trace of sorrow. Shen Yang Xiao perceived the fluctuations of Million Bird's mind. When the million bird first saw Azure Dragon and the others, Azure Dragon had said that the million bird was heavily injured in the past. Therefore, while the other four mythological beasts were in adult forms, only the million bird was in the form of a young child. Shen Yang Xiao had always been curious. How much damage had the million bird suffered in the end that he would end up with his present appearance? Moreover, didn't the million bird recuperate for a hundred years, so why were his injuries not cured yet? The million bird, have you really been beaten by Toti in the past? Nangong Meng Meng, who seemingly knew something looked at Vermilion Bird very curiously. Vermilion Bird's face became gloomy in an instant. Nangong Meng Meng realized that she had just blurted out a secret, so she immediately covered her mouth and looked at Vermilion Bird apologetically. Chapter 985, Twilight City, 3. Shen Yang Xiao slightly frowned. Vermilion Bird had been beaten in a fight. Could it be that Vermilion Bird's injury was caused by Toti? Vermilion Bird clenched his teeth and turned to look out the window without saying a word. Shen Yang Xiao looked at Lan Feng Lai on the side. Little Feng has no magical beast right? Shen Yang Xiao did not want Vermilion Bird to recall those unpleasant things. Since he didn't want to say anything. She just shifted the topic. Lan Feng Lai faintly nodded his head. Shen Yang Xiao smilingly said, Let's find a good magical beast for you in the future. Lan Feng Lai was so strong that he could almost frighten even the dead. Shen Yang Xiao intended to find a mythological beast for him. Otherwise, with his strength, high level magical beasts had no value at all. Actually, Shen Yang Xiao thought of turning one of the phoenixes into Lan Feng Lai's magical beast, and while she was at it, she might as well fool the other one to sign a contract with the Yin Jujun. It was just that during this time, she was very busy and had never taken care of this matter. Lan Feng Lai blinked his eyes and glanced at the somewhat angry Vermilion. He then suddenly said, Sister, can I have Toti? Vermilion Bird instantly fumed with rage. Toti? You actually want that Toti? What's so good about that thing? I'll tell you. Those little arms and legs of yours are not enough for it to swallow. The million bird pointed a finger to Lan Feng Lai and shouted angrily. The word Toti had become his pressure point. Lan Feng Lai innocently faced the million bird, 
I wanted to swallow only you, you smelly brat, get out of the carriage right now, I, this grandpa, want to fight with you, I'll break that innocent face of yours into pieces and let you know how to dye flowers red, vermilion bird rolled up his sleeves, preparing to fight with Lan Feng Lai, his red eyes were spitting out flames, Shen Yang Xiao patted her forehead, Lan Feng Lai usually listened well to everyone, but when it came to Vermilion Bird, he would turn into a bully, was it possible that even though this kid lost his memory, he still subconsciously remembered that Vermilion Bird was the one who smashed into him, Lan Feng Lai shot a glance at Vermilion Bird who was swaying his fists in front of him, and calmly said, I don't bully disabled birds, say it again, who is disabled, you come over here, I promise not to kill you, Vermilion Bird bellowed in anger and threw himself forward, Fortunately, Shen Yang Xiao quickly stopped him. Nangong Meng Meng, who accidentally caused the war, silently shrunk herself to the corner of the carriage and tried to reduce her sense of existence. She really didn't mean for this to happen. Just you, spare your own wings from hurting. Lan Feng Lai seriously responded. Oh, if I don't roast you today, I am not called Vermilion Bird. Then you want to be called Little Pig Bird? I will kill you. You can't beat me. Once I kill you. You will know it's you who can't beat me. Shen Yang Xiao's one hand blocked Vermilion Bird while the other rubbed her forehead. Lan Feng Lai's provocation perfectly dispelled Vermilion Bird's depressed mood just a moment ago. But a raged Vermilion Bird was also not so easy to appease. Ah, Shen Yang Xiao could only silently lament his younger brother's method of appeasing the other's mood. It was really horrible. On one side was the raging Vermilion Bird, and on the other side was Lan Feng Lai with his sullen face and poisonous tongue. Nan Gong Meng Meng quietly squatted on the corner, pretending to be a mushroom. The whole journey, Shen Yang Xiao painstakingly appeased people left and right. There was really no idle time on their way. Even the small phoenix on the head of Million Bird and the mini dragon on Shen Yang Xiao's shoulder also kept on chirping and gujiing endlessly. The entire journey was very lively. After ten days of torture, the team of the Rising Sun City finally arrived at the city gates of Twilight City. At the same time, Shen Yang Xiao finally ended her tragic life on this road. Chapter 986 Twilight City 4. The name of Twilight City had a certain relationship with its own architecture. As Nan Gong Meng Meng said, the walls of the entire Twilight City were made of metal. At sunset, the city walls would reflect the beautiful twilight, until the semi-darkness gradually spread and the night combined with the whole city. Hence the name Twilight City. A row of guards was guarding at the city gate of the Twilight City. Du Lang handed the invitation letter to the city guards. In a short while, a middle-aged man dressed in light armor walked to the front of their carriage. Greetings to Shen Yang Xiao, city lord of the rising sun city, we welcome you all. My city lord has prepared a place for everyone to rest, if you would please follow me. Shen Yang Xiao and the others got off the carriage and walked into Twilight City under the guidance of the middle-aged man. The interior of Twilight City was mostly made of metal, and the area of Twilight City was slightly smaller than that of Blizzard City and Magical Fantasy City. This place must be filled with people of the Seven Kingdoms. The main streets and alleys seemed particularly crowded, even the main streets could only accommodate two carriages traveling side by side. The place they arranged for Shen Yang Xiao's team was quite far from the center of the Twilight City. Located at the corner of the southeastern part, Shen Yang Xiao and Xiao had walked for a long time before they arrived there. There was only one pavilion there that was not particularly big. Please, Lord Shen and the whole team, feel free to take your rest here. The people from the Blizzard City and Magical Fantasy City will come over in two days. At that time, my city lord will entertain you. The middle aged man held a smile on his face and his attitude was polite. However, Arranging the people of the Rising Sun City to be in such a remote and simple place could not make people think that the Twilight City was friendly to the Rising Sun City. Shen Yang Xiao seemed not very concerned about it, as if she found nothing strange at all. She smiled and said, Thank you for your hard work. The middle aged man exchanged a few words with Shen Yang Xiao and then left. As soon as he left, 
the people of the rising sun city started complaining. This Ju An Hen is very petty in doing things. He actually arranged for us to stay in such a remote place. Doesn't this mean he's not putting us in his eyes? Tang Nazi looked at the building in front of him that was not as good as his own house in the rising sun city and his mood turned bad. They were also elites representing a city. Was that Du An Hen neglecting them when he arranged them here? The Twilight City is smaller. Maybe the accommodations they arranged for Blizzard City and Magical Fantasy City are similar to this one. Don't mind it, Leek Xiao I was unexpectedly in a good temper as he soothed things out. It doesn't have to be in such a corner. Tang Nazi still couldn't understand. Don't think too much, just do as the natives do. Anyway, we've come here for the tournament not to amuse ourselves. We're not going to live here forever, Yang Zai said. He was actually very interested in the forging and casting method in the Twilight City. Shen Yang Xiao did not say anything as well and only took her people into the pavilion. This pavilion looked a bit shabby from the outside, and when one entered, the scene would render people even more speechless. The interior was simple and crude with little decorations aside from the tables, chairs, and other furniture. There was only one old man in his sixties in charge of the entire pavilion, not to mention that the old man walked so slowly. His body even seemed like it couldn't withstand being tossed back and forth. Moreover, this pavilion was at least big enough to accommodate more than a hundred people, and to assign only one person to serve them was actually somewhat illogical. There were more than thirty rooms in the entire building. As such, at least four or five people must share a room to rest. The furnishings in the rooms were shabby to the extreme. Except for the beds, tables and chairs, there wasn't even a cabinet or two. The empty room was more than enough to be occupied by four or five people. This was practically even more simple and crude than the military camp. Chapter 987, Twilight City, 5 This time, everyone's face did not look so good. Granted. The size of the Twilight City was small, hence, they could only provide them such a small building, but did they really have to pick a shabby place for them to stay in? This looked exactly like a refugee camp. Were they afraid that they would take away their things? Master, it still seems that they have gone too far. Nangong Meng Meng turned her head towards Shen Yang Xiao. If she could see it, then obviously the others could too. The Twilight City clearly did not like the people from the Rising Sun City. No matter. Shen Yang Xiao seemed to have no reaction about it, but in fact, order everyone to go visit the shops in the city and choose furniture and ornaments for me. Don't think of coming back if you are not able to buy any luxurious items that can redeem my face. After buying them, immediately move them inside. Shen Yang Xiao commanded before dropping some crystal cards. The city lord is domineering. Everyone cheered. Today was just the first day of the seventh month, there were still many days until the tournament would begin. Spending their time in such a place, they might be able to endure, but they would still feel somewhat wronged. Now, Shen Yang Xiao gave them the power to go shopping, and even demand them to buy all luxurious items. Sounds of wailing and clamoring began to spread. Their eagerness to shop flared up. Sitting in a chair, Shen Yang Xiao looked at the cheering crowd. There was a sneer in the corner of her mouth. They wanted them to appear shabby and poor. It was a pity that she, Shen Yang Xiao, might be short of other things. However she was absolutely not lacking any money. It does not matter if you did not give me anything, I, your grandpa has a lot of money. Can I not just buy things myself? With crystal cards in their hands, a group of people went out to shop at once. Their city lord was truly a local tyrant, who would have imagined that she would make such a move. Are you really just going to let those cheap people from the Twilight City get away with this? Won't those things just become their belonging afterwards? Tang Nazi raised an eyebrow. Although this was indeed a domineering move, in the end, it was them who would still suffer a loss. Shen Yang Xiao smiled coldly and said, let them get away. Once we're to leave the city, if we can't take the items with us, we'll just destroy them to pieces. All of the items were just one-time supplies. Did they really believe they could wrong her and her people? She was afraid the Twilight City did not have that ability. Tang Nazi was quiet as Shen Yang Xiao's answer was just too ferocious. Chi Xia and the others laughed treacherously. They did not think that Shen Yang Xiao could be so rude and impetuous in showing off her wealth. Furthermore, 
they almost forgot that besides her identity as a city lord on the surface, there was also her godly thief identity. They estimated that tonight, inside the Twilight City, someone's purse would surely suffer a calamity. Buy items from the people of the Twilight City, and then steal their money. Could Shen Yang Xiao get even more generous? In reality, she was actually not spending a penny. The old man who was in charge of serving them in the pavilion watched as a group of people moved all kinds of extravagant furnitures and ornaments into the place. The old man could not help but tremble as he saw those lavish items. What made him vomit even more blood was that he actually saw several people walk in with a crystal ball that was as big as a human head in each of their hands. The average price of one crystal ball was already enough to feed an average person for a lifetime. In just a few hours, the originally shabby pavilion immediately became filled with luxurious items bought by the people of the Rising Sun City. From the lobby to the very last room, not a single one lacked an overwhelmingly luxurious theme. Even the ground was covered with luxury wool carpets embroidered with golden thread. From the front door of the pavilion, it flew all the way to the bedside of each room. In just a brief shopping time, Shen Yang Xiao had spent millions of gold coins from her crystal cards. However, this city lord was still not satisfied. Without blinking her eyes, she let her people invite a chef from the most luxurious restaurant in the Twilight City to cook their meal. Chapter 988, Twilight City, 6 The living conditions of the Rising Sun City's team had risen from hell to heaven, not only were their living quarters now better, even their food was the best. While they were merrily eating and drinking, they also did not forget how much money Shen Yang Xiao had spent for them, one by one. They became secretly determined to give their all in this tournament. They must win the victory no matter what, otherwise, they really would feel ashamed after receiving the generosity of their city lord. MMM. This white pig trotter's soup is really delicious. 1. The matter about the people of the Rising Sun City buying luxury goods in Twilight City quickly spread around. Many businessmen who had sold many things to the Rising Sun City's people swiftly disseminated information on a grand scale. They stated that the people of the Rising Sun City were all extravagant. When they came to their stores, they would choose only the best and they wouldn't even spare the inferior things a glance. The Rising Sun City was the last city that had been built in the barren land and Twilight City was very far away from the Rising Sun City, thus many people had no idea of the situation there. Based on their point of view, a city that had just been built couldn't have so much money, right? This time, they came in the Twilight City to participate in the tournament. Who would have known that in just one afternoon? This action of the Rising Sun City would make them a hot topic discussed by groups of people, startling these people into dropping their jaws. A lot of people had begun to wonder how rich the Rising Sun City was in the end, since in just one afternoon, a hundred of their people had spent no less than millions of gold coins. Were gold coins not money for the Rising Sun City? Even if you were extremely wealthy, you did not have to spend that much. After that afternoon, the people of the Rising Sun City had successfully left a glorious image of real local tyrants among the citizens of the Twilight City. And even the many businessmen, after hearing the gossip from their peers, immediately ran to the place where the Rising Sun City's team lived, knocking on their door and selling their own products. The fellows who were still eating their dinner were really shocked by the pile of businessmen that were stuck in their doorway carrying their own luxury goods. Shen Yang Xiao faintly raised her eyes and swept across the people in the dining room. All the people were tacitly looking at the ground, no one dared to lift their head. Vermilion Bird, Shen Yang Xiao said. Vermilion Bird, with a slice of pork belly in his mouth, raised his head and looked at Shen Yang Xiao in confusion. Drive them away, Shen Yang Xiao faintly ordered. Understood. Vermilion Bird hurriedly swallowed the pork belly picked up the small phoenix that was standing on the table and eating rice and then threw it on his head. After a second, he whistled toward the group of people blocking the gate. The people in the dining room only heard miserable howling and shrieking outside the gate. In less than five minutes, the million bird walked in as he clapped his hands as if to remove the debt and continued to sit in his seat and eat. The people silently looked at Vermilion Bird's stalwart figure and swallowed their saliva. Cruel. Too cruel. Although they didn't see Vermilion Bird in action, 
The screams of misery they heard were already enough to make them imagine how miserably those businessmen had suffered. These days, you can stroll around in the twilight city, but don't create such trouble again. After Shen Yang Xiao had finished eating, she wiped her mouth and glaringly warned everyone. She did not intend to shut this group of people in this small building, there wouldn't be many opportunities to come to this twilight city, so naturally they must look around. Although the twilight city was small, it also had good places. Yes, the crowd nodded just like they were mashing garlic. After dinner, Shen Yang Xiao allowed everyone to move freely, and she herself went back to her room, decisively replacing her dress and putting on a black outfit. Needless to say, the city lord who had smashed away millions of gold coins during the day had to start her sideline business at night in Twilight City. She would get back all the money she spent to date a night. 1. White Pig Trotter Soup Chapter 989, Twilight City, 7. The darkness of the night shrouded the entire Twilight City, and only the brilliance from the light congealing crystals on the sides of the streets illuminated the surroundings. Twilight City's citizens did not like nightlife, maybe it was because everyone in the city was not all from the same country that they preferred to stay in their rooms and rest early. This was a great opportunity to take action. Shen Yang Xiao's clever figure quickly ran through a street like an agile cat. The mini dragon that was hell bent on following her was currently bound on the table, sound asleep. Although Shen Yang Xiao had not ventured out as a professional thief for a long time, her godly stealing skills had not been forgotten at all. She had quickly locked onto the wealthy businessmen's homes in Twilight City. In barren land cities, there were many businessmen that came from various cities all over the world. Many of them would put their money in their warehouse, because it was difficult to quickly put the money into the bank since transportation was not convenient. And this was definitely a good thing for Shen Yang Xiao. Shen Yang Xiao almost effortlessly fished out a lot of money from several households. This kind of approach, which was like taking things from one's own pockets, was really of no challenge. However, Shen Yang Xiao was wise not to go to the city lord residence of the Twilight City. Although she was certain that she wouldn't be discovered, and she also had the protection of the Moonlight Crystal, she had no clue as to what was happening inside the city lord residence. The Red Flame Beast had been described so incredibly by Nan Gong Meng Meng. It would be better to stay away from it. Moreover, Shen Yang Xiao glanced at the ring full of gold coins on her finger and the smile on her face could not be covered up. The wealthy businessmen residing in the barren land were much more wealthy than the wealthy businessmen of other places. They put their wealth directly in the warehouses, and she just casually took it. Shen Yang Xiao returned from a rewarding journey. She went back to her room and changed her clothes. She looked at the mini dragon that was tangled like a rice dumpling on the table. Shen Yang Xiao laughed and picked it up, slowly untying it. Guji, Guji, Gugu. The mini dragon was instantly angered. It flapped its small wings on the table but it couldn't fly, or else, it would have already charged into Shen Yang Xiao. Shen Yang Xiao calmly sat in the chair and patted the mini dragon on the table. Be quiet, Guji Guji. The miserably abused mini dragon was struggling under the unscrupulous claws of someone. But its size was too small and its resistance was just futile. Don't be noisy. Sleep. Shen Yang Xiao stretched her body. It would be nice if she could go out longer and make more extra money, but it was already late. Regardless of whether or not the mini dragon protested, Shen Yang Xiao held it straight to the bed. Although the rooms in this pavilion were very scarce, the Rising Sun City people had reached a consensus to give Shen Yang Xiao her own separate room. Even Nan Gong Meng Meng did not think of scrambling with Shen Yang Xiao on the same bed. She very willingly squeezed herself onto the same bed as the several sisters responsible for logistic works. Lying alone in the warm bed, Shen Yang Xiao fell asleep feeling content. This was a calm night, for a certain unscrupulous thief, this was a happy evening, but for some wealthy businessman who had suffered a treacherous assault, this night would be their nightmare. Early the next morning, Shen Yang Xiao was still asleep, but the entire Twilight City had exploded. More than a dozen wealthy businessmen in the city had been brutally robbed, more than half of the gold coins in their entire warehouse had been stolen, and the guards patrolling at night did not have the slightest clue at all. 
What made them most depressed was that this unscrupulous thief was still somewhat principled. In every family that had been patronized, only two-thirds of the gold coins had been stolen, still leaving them one-third of the amount. Chapter 990, Twilight City, 8 They had this profound feeling of being under the charity of a thief. This incident directly shocked the city lord of the Twilight City. Almost all the guards in the city had been dispatched to search for the whereabouts of that little thief. But everyone subconsciously excluded the group of people from the Rising Sun City from the list of suspect. In their minds, such local tyrants who could spend millions of gold coins in a day didn't have to do such a thing like stealing. The amount lost this night was almost like the amount they spent daily. Since that was the case, it was completely unnecessary for them to do that right? Little did they know, one of those local tyrants that they fancied was the very culprit of this theft case. Shen Yangtze woke up when the sun was already high. She changed her clothes and went to the dining room to eat. The five animals was already sitting there and when they saw her, they immediately beckoned her to come and have a meal. Shen Yangtze slowly walked over and sat down. The food before them was cooked by a restaurant chef in the Twilight City. Others might have thought it was very delicious, but for the phantom members who were accustomed to the culinary delicacies of their chef Yan, these things were not that delicious. How was the harvest last night? Cheeksia supported his chin and looked at Shen Yangxiao, who was still in her night clothes. Shen Yangxiao drank a mouthful of congee, after which she said, just enough to replace the money we spent here in Twilight City. The five animals had a tacit comprehension in their hearts and immediately understood Shen Yangxiao's achievement last night. This little girl was really very wretched, borrowing people's money to strike other people's faces as if it were proper and to be expected as a matter of course, really made people worship her very much. The six people were eating, and at this time, Nan Gong Meng Meng came back from outside. She was still holding a small string of ornaments. As soon as she saw Shen Yang Xiao, she flew in her direction. Master, Master, I have gossip to tell. Nan Gong Meng Meng woke up early, but when she found that Shen Yang Xiao was still resting, she did not bother her master's dream and instead wandered around the Twilight City. And as she wandered around, she heard some really interesting things. What happened? Shen Yangxia was not completely clear-headed, her eyes were still a bit sluggish as she stared at the food in front of her and at a mouthful. Nan Gong Meng Meng said with excitement, I heard that many households in the city had been robbed last night. Oh, Shen Yangxia just continued to eat. The expression of the five animals was very complicated at this moment. Hey, master. Did you already know? Seeing that Shen Yang Xiao did not have much reaction, Nan Gong Meng Meng wondered. I don't know. Shen Yang Xiao continued to struggle with the kunji. It's not just an ordinary thief. It's said to be a very formidable thief. In just a night, that person stole from the warehouses of all the wealthy businessmen in the city. And it's strange that the thief didn't steal all of their money. He actually left a portion for them. Don't you think that this is such an elegant thief? Stealing yet still wise and just? Nan Gong Meng Meng worked hard to deliver everything she had heard from the gossip. However, Shen Yang Xiao still had no reaction. Nan Gong Meng Meng was somewhat disappointed, and she had even relied on this gossip to raise her master's spirits. But even though Shen Yang Xiao did not react, the expression of the five animals became more and more entangled. Masters. What's wrong with you? Nan Gong Meng Meng finally realized that her five other masters looked somewhat abnormal. Nothing, eat up. Cheeksia calmly opened his mouth. If Nan Gong Meng Meng learned that the thief from her mouth was her very master sitting opposite her, one did not know what would she think. 